they realize if China would have something like that, I would be the person to initiate something like that. So that's why by 2011, uh, they arrested me. I think Russia has the potential to become a democratic world because Russian think about literature, the education, Russian is pretty strong. Mm -hmm. I think it very much depends on education and uh, you know how many people are educated. Which just want to say they're, they're just absolutely right. Morally, I think that ideology is Nazi ideology. Russian citizens standing uh, Klim in front of this, holding a white paper, the police says arrest him mm -hmm. to say, I know what you're writing on top. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we think that was very funny. Хорошо. You know, хорошо. I know, товарищ. Хорошо. Спасибо. До свидания. Nearly that the be watch personally. Mm-hmm. Did you study Russian? I studied China? Russian near the Russian border. My father was exiled. Mm -hmm. We have to st study Russian because we are thinking Russian is the most dangerous enemy mm -hmm. that time, 1970s, 60s late 60s, early 70s. We think United States is enemy, but it's far away. Mm -hmm. But the Russian has a big military presence in, on the border. A lot of people, I think uh, around uh, half a million people. So China have this idea Russia is going to invade China to have a war. So we are digging those, uh, how do you call this kind of, since underground. Yeah, like trenches. Yeah, we did again. Every, every home is digging that. Mm -hmm. For us, we are child, we think digging a trenches is very interesting, you know, because it's, you know, it's, it's like a rat. Mm -hmm. But, uh, oh, like, but, like holes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, every day <clears throat> we are talking about Russia. No, it's not Russia, but Soviet. As a, Soviet as an enemy. As an enemy. It's the mm -hmm. most dangerous enemy. Mm -hmm. We grew up in that, so we have to learn Russian language to tell people, raise your hands. Mm -hmm. We don't kill, uh, how do you call prisoners. Something like that. Raise your hands. We don't kill prisoners. <laughs> <Something> <laughs> like that. We all are all learn those things. I forget how all of them. Mm -hmm. you know. But actually, you you sp you spend all of your childhood there, right? I spend the till till the my whole childhood there. You till know. the moment Mao died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And do you remember that that feeling that when when the person who who sent your your father to exile who. You see the black hole? Yeah. I live under there mm -hmm. with my father, five mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. That hole, mm -hmm. five years. And uh, it's just propaganda all the time, so. I was asking about your, your feeling, the, the moment when you learned that, that Mao died. I'm asking because now in, in Russia, a lot of people are discussing that everything will change when, when, when Putin dies that he, his death will change the situation. And, and people are comparing him to, um, to the moment when Stalin died. Because when Stalin died, the, the situation changed a lot. So uh, and the, the situation in your life changed a lot when, when Mao died, because you, you could um, return back to Beijing. It's true and uh, not true. Uh, when Chairman Mao died, of course, it was a, like a dead end. We, we, we are hitting nowhere. China has been so broken. So his, uh, the people who was his uh, colleagues or comrades come up to say, we still have to keep the same kind of respect to mm -hmm. Chairman Mao, but at the same time, we need to get rich first. So he visited the United States, Deng, Deng Xiaoping. Mm -hmm. and, uh, 
and uh, he think、uh, China should get rich first. He never said what's the next sentence. So under that simple sentence, it's not ideology. It just to say get rich first. China developed for next forty years just for getting rich by doing anything necessary. Absolutely, everybody thinking getting rich from the top of the the central committee, communist、mm-hmm. committee to the bottom to the village to the villagers to anybody to say how to get rich. This never never in human history a nation like over. One billion people. Everybody thinking how to get rich, do anything to get rich, make pennies or less than penny. So that changes the whole global political situation. Yeah. Now we we have it. We <laughs> we, we see the results. Yes, we see the result under this kind of dictatorship, dictatorship,、mm-hmm. and they move fast. They use the whole nation's effort、mm-hmm. to make、uh, everything happen. Can we go? Yeah. You know, every in Russia, every time,、mm-hmm. uh, <coughs> a lot of people are saying that that Russia cannot be a democracy. It has never been a democracy. It has been an empire.、Uh, it had a czar. Then it had.、Uh, Uh, Secretary General of the Communist Party,、uh, so it will it will never be a, a, a democracy. Now, I personally, for many years, for many years, I for many years, I I personally、uh, thought that、uh, it's not true, that that it, it doesn't matter what the history was. Still, there is always a chance that the, the society can change, that the, the young generation I, can, can want something different. Uh, what what are your?、Uh, I think Russia has the potential to become a democratic democratic world because Russian think about literature, the the education Russian is pretty strong.、Mm-hmm. I think it very much depends on education and、uh, you know how many people are educated, how strongly the intellectual presents. So in China, it's not possible to become a democracy for me. Mm-hmm. Because there's, there's no intellectuals, you know. Most intellectuals, like my father, they all been d- diminished. Is is being killed, and、uh, so there's no way, you know. The education is pretty bad, you know, brainwashed. Of course, people can change once they open it up, but that would take a long time. It's not prepared yet.、Mm-hmm. If China can be open society, can have an independent、uh, judicial system, then it will be easy.、Mm-hmm. You know, that will be easy. So that's why they never give up. They never think they should have an independent judicial system. What? They, that's why they block all the internet and、uh, not、uh, to openly discuss anything. So this is required for. For democracy is openness. We don't have independent judicial history um, um, system, judicial,、uh, judiciary system.、Huh. So it's like that's dangerous. It's it's, it's really what, bad. It's, once what, once you see the, what, this, what this guy being killed、Or、on on this、uh, square, you know this、uh, by somebody unknown people,、yeah. the mafia or government agency. You don't. You, That's the end of it. You think,、mm-hmm. oh my God, this can happens in Russia, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and they can poison people in London. That is beyond discussion. That's the end of it. You think,、yes. oh, the, that society is impossible. Yeah, and now with the war, you, you can imagine <laughs> what's hap- happening in the country. I can't even when, imagine. When it, you know, so many people being sent to to the war, and、mm-hmm. I, so whole world is watching. Yeah, and still, they doing that. They don't. They don't care.、Mm-hmm. So you think、uh, that that is deep. They don't hesitate. You see the way they they、uh, they they act. And、uh, what was the moment for you when you realized that you cannot be、uh, 
a part of that system that that you you need to challenge it because you uh, you were wor working as a as a yeah. contributor to the the Olympic Stadium you you worked for the system and then uh, well I never really worked for the system I yes I did the national stadium uh, in in contribute mm -hmm. my my effort but at that time I was only thinking about architecture I was very focused on architecture and uh, I would uh, do anything related to arch architecture can come from my house can come from uh, uh, government projects but it I never realized that projects is going to be a major propaganda for the for China. Mm -hmm. So that's why I I clearly said that before the Olympics, I said that I'm not going to have anything to be associated with the, the functioning of the this architecture. Mm -hmm. I'm designed it as architecture, but uh, of course that is ridiculous. But my understanding about this society from my beginning, uh, when I was born, when I have a conscious, when my father was uh, exiled for 20 years, forbidden to write uh, poetry. Mm -hmm. He was a national poet, regarded as, uh, you know, the most uh, well-known poet, and he represent China to Soviet Union. Mm -hmm. visited the Soviet Union for many months, mm -hmm. you know, just as the highest that, uh, literature represented in it. And uh, then he exiled for 20 years. I was born the same year. So when I become conscious, especially when I, after my high school, uh, I got into Beijing Film Institute. Then that time I'm become a pretty rebel. I become a very rebellious person. So I try to get out from China because some of my friend, some people I know, got arrested, mm -hmm. sentenced, thirteen years or something. The crime was saying he was a foreign spy. He's not foreign spy. He just a young guy trying to write some articles about what happens in China. Mm -hmm. So I think China is very dangerous at that time. Of course, for ordinary people, it's not dangerous. You know, people don't care about politics. Life, uh, you know, you're just in the middle of a life struggle. But for me, I think it would be dangerous for me. I made my way to United States. I spent uh, 12 years there. So it was not um, any turning point for you. You were uh, yeah, I was, fr fr I, fr from your childhood. Very in beginning. I was mm -hmm. born with this kind of. But of course, you're you're t you're young, and you have n you do not have enough information to support you. Mm -hmm. You gradually understand there's different life somewhere else. Mm -hmm. You know. And when when Tiananmen uh, massacre in uh, in 1989 happened, what was your uh, my reaction? Yeah, what um, was your emotion? By 1989, I was already in New York for eight years. Mm -hmm. Of course, that what happened is unbelievable. The, the whole nation, especially students and uh, media people and even government officials, even police, uh, are come to the street. Such a huge, huge national movement. Mm -hmm. They're not really asking too much. They're just asking anti-corruption. Uh, Maybe a few people talked about democracy and the freedom, but not, not in general. They are not even want to overthrow the communist government, but they've been brutally crushed by tanks and soldiers. So that moment, people even couldn't believe the so-called liberation army 
can shoot their own people. Uh, because they always glamorous size about the Liberation Army. Mm -hmm. Then they, then people start to realize this government is trying to do anything to maintain the power. The question for me is, if you maintain the power by force, such as tanks, then you're an illegal government. That's, ve th that's very, you know, uh, uh, the international law says that uh, the government that uses force against the people be be becomes uh, illegitimate. Um, I, I, yeah. don't, I don't know about that. Uh, there's an uh, in international understanding, but uh, for me, I think uh, the government lost its uh, legitimacy. But then if you think about uh, from beginning, this government uh, getting power only because they use force. You know, there are just uh, people overthrew the old government. Old government now in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. But uh, there is a new established government. And uh, so I think most people are very innocent and naive and uh, to think, oh, you can have other way to get the establishment. I think most establishment established by force. Maybe historically, but we, we've got uh, a lot of examples of uh, not so many. Pe peaceful transit of power. Not so many. Like what? Russia? No, no. Russia, it's, Russia is just the same as, uh, as China right now. Yeah, but uh, there's, there's almost no peaceful transformation. Even in the United States, people walk to the Capitol Hill, they think they're they're just uh, going to overthrow the government and they put them in jail, you know. So that's a land you call democracy and the freedom of expression. Mm -hmm. So I don't think so, unless they willingly, like both parties, they, they're just one party. They're just a little different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's a switch hands. It's like one leg feel tired, then you, you switch to another leg, mm -hmm. but same body. You seem to be um, very, very disillusioned in uh, in Western democracy, or I am quite disillusioned. Uh, disillusioned not because uh, I don't feel comfortable, but uh, still, there's a lot to be questioned. Uh, double standard in terms of. Uh, human rights, freedom of speech, mm -hmm. and uh, in terms of uh, human conditions. And uh, of course, the whole Western world lived in very privileged condition and uh, with a great establishment. You know, if you look at what, you know, Europeans and the United States are so privileged. But at the same time, they have uh, unsolvable problems. Capitalism, mm -hmm. you know, the the winner takes all. And uh, they only can be winner when there's a loser. So they are still keep exploring the nations who is not privileged. Uh, but this is maybe that's kind of human nature. I've read that, that you were kind of um not a fan, but you you liked Mikhail Gorbachev, and you you even talked of uh, making some. No, some, no, no, some not at all. Not sta at all. That, this is uh, not at all. The, the the German newspaper said I'm uh, going to make uh, uh, some kind of Hulk. Uh, how do you call this monument? Yeah, my, it's not n never my idea. Mm -hmm. so they people ask me. Was it just exaggeration to, to, to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I I. I, I know little about it, but I think he, even him, I think it's uh, I read something from his earlier, like memorial, uh, memo. He had a very early idea trying to end up the, the Communist Party. Gorbachev, right? We don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but no, uh, but uh, um, anyhow, history I happened like I that. Sp I spoke to him uh, many times, and uh -huh. he 
he has changed his uh, perception of what he was doing. <laughs> oh, really? Because I think if we asked him uh, in um, 85 oh, okay. or in, in 89, mm -hmm. he would be very, uh, if not a hardliner, but, mm -hmm. but still a communist. Mm -hmm. But within years, he, oh, okay. he, he explained his, mm -hmm. his motivations <clears throat> in a different way. But, but mm -hmm. So he was obviously not a strategic politician he didn't yeah. have a strategy to, he's soft uh, but he was a, a soft a, a good soft man he didn't want to mm -hmm. hurt people very kind people yeah, that's he, why he, the, the the Berlin Wall collapsed peacefully you know if this the yeah. hardliners uh, can yeah. be a very different situation and he didn't uh, denounced um, uh, Chinese authorities and he uh, he True. asked uh, uh, Chinese authorities to, to mm -hmm. start perestroika mm -hmm. in China as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think you, uh, I have the same impression, but I, I don't know more than that. I, I mentioned about the Tiananmen uh, protests. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know that, that in Russia, many people share very positive perception of the fact that the Chinese government uh, decided to suppress that that, that protests because they say, look what happened in Soviet Union. Gorbachev was was soft, and he he started perestroika without knowing uh, where he was going. And that was a path uh, towards nowhere. So he lost the power. He lost Soviet Union. Uh, he lost the country. But but <coughs> Chinese then Selpin was was much wiser. He mm, he stopped all all those uh, de democratic movements and uh, he managed to, to hold the power so he was right and Gorbachev was wrong. Well, depends on how do you look at uh, right or wrong historically or, or who's going to make the judgment. China, if without this kind of brutal crash, it's very hard to see how China is going to become you know, because you never had the experience. I would say people at that time for China is not prepared for change. Mm -hmm. They want to change, but there's no intellectuals, no different kind of social environment, such as religion, you know, China mm -hmm. has no religion and no uh, NGO. And it's just ever since, it's completely nothing there. Mm -hmm. So the government is the only organization has the ability to to perform. Students, they're very, very, uh, I would say, mostly innocent. Mm -hmm. They're not, not uh, very deeply, profoundly uh, have uh, ideas how to uh, how to manage the, the the situation so but of course it doesn't support the militaries brutally um, to crash the students because they also do not have any tools for the dictatorships they they only know is to mm -hmm. to use uh, force and uh, there's no way for any kind of negotiation. Mm -hmm. They can all, or they can negotiate. They can make a better situation, but they don't believe in that. Mm -hmm. They said we have this power by sacrifice 30 million people. And uh, if you want the power, you use 30 million heads to exchange for the power. Mm -hmm. You know, they're very, very uh, rude and brutal. Mm -hmm. So there's no way to judge uh, which situation would be better. Mm -hmm. So you, you say that uh, the Chinese people were not ready for change in the 80s? And, I don't and, think... And, and, and uh, uh, yeah, they're not ready for change in the 80s. I don't think they are ready for change for today. Mm -hmm. You know, communists have uh, almost uh, 100 million Mm -hmm. members think about 100 million how many it's much bigger than russia 100 million it's almost like the size uh, of uh, russia is 200 million 
Uh, Russia is uh, 140. Yeah, see. And the 100 yes. million is communist member, and mm -hmm. they have relatives. Mm -hmm. They also have a uh, youth communist league. It's much bigger population than mm -hmm. the, uh, Russia's population. And those people, uh, on every level, they are workforce or village. And uh, there's no such organization like Chinese government or communist have 100 years uh, of history, of course, a struggle, and have such experience in dealing with matter in China. Mm -hmm. They are, it's, it's always struggle, but uh, still they are most uh, experienced people. And uh, to replace it, you need a very powerful force. Right, Chinese have no religion, no oppositions, no oppositions in China. Of course, I, I've been considered also as an opposition, but mm -hmm. as an individual, mm -hmm. it's no, almost nobody support. And uh, yeah, people likes me or dislike me, but it's impossible to have any kind of organization in China. They are mm -hmm. very, very sensitive about that. Mm -hmm. And the people trying to have this kind of movement always been put in jail, disappeared for a long sentence, you know, lifetime. Or, yeah, it just, it's impossible. Mm -hmm. So to think China would have a change, I think that is a, a do not understanding what China is. Mm -hmm. China for, in the history, it's not going to have a change like this. Only would have a adjustment in between them. You know, like another government official would change certain policies, but they would uh, stick with this uh, ideology. Mm -hmm. So you mean the change can come only from above? The change only can come from uh, internal in the Communist Party. Mm -hmm. There's no any force outside of the party, mm -hmm. nothing. You know, I was once in my life, it mm -hmm. was a very uh, important uh, moment when I, when I saw your project about uh, Sichuan earthquake, and it uh, impressed me a lot and like, even um, had very uh, important consequences for me because at that time I was um, running uh, independent Russian TV channel. And when I saw your, your project, I saw it as a the great piece of journalism. It was a, a museum, it was a piece of art, but I saw that, like, that's, that's the genuine, the great journalism, a great journalist project. And that was exactly the moment when uh, the, war, the war in Ukraine started in 2014, I was uh, at your exhibition, uh, and looking at, at your project, I realized what, what we had to do. That we need uh, to start a uh, citizen investigation of, of what is happening. Like, uh, because Russian authorities were denying the fact that Russian army is fighting in Ukraine. Putin said that no, no, there are only some volunteers who are uh, having their rest, uh, summer holidays in Ukraine. There are no soldiers. And it was... It was pathetic it was ridiculous so so i looking at at your project i realized that yes we we, we must change our attitude we must uh have that huge investigative uh, project and like learn how many like who are those soldiers who are fighting uh on ukrainian soil so th thanks for that uh inspiration and i think that your that 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 project was somehow a turning point for you because all of you, like most of your problems with that that was um, somehow a challenge for the regime yeah but 2008 mm -hmm. uh, after for many years staying on 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 the block i realized i can do something if the internet still uh, let me to be on it i said give me three years i will change it 
you know, I can change this is the like whole, yeah, the whole discussion. And uh, but China, they don't give you, you know, they shut off my blog. Then I become nobody. But before they shut off, because I did the citizen investigation to go to Sichuan to check on, you know, those students how they died. You know, it's all government built buildings, and uh, we checked. Uh, we found out five thousand two hundred nineteen students' name, mm -hmm. birthday. Every day we posted. The whole nation is watching. They said this guy is crazy. Mm -hmm. you now the police told me you're not journalist, but you did journalist work. You're not lawyer. You did lawyers work. What the fuck are you trying to do? I just want the facts. You know, I just want to present the facts. Other can make judgment. You know, I'm I'm not against anybody. I just say, life is uh, precious, and our memory should not be changed. You know, we should not forget what happened. Mm -hmm. So that's very simple, and we very successful. But they realize this guy getting too powerful. Then that was the moment, Arabic would had a, you know, the Jasmine. Uh, called the, the revolution, Arab nation. Mm -hmm. So they they realize if China would have something like that, I would be the person to to insist or to initiate something like that. So that's why by 2011 uh, they arrest me, and uh, you know it's so easy for them to crash. Down someone like me, what I did before, nobody ever did in China. Maybe nobody would ever have that kind of scale. We have a huge, huge supporting. But those kind of support, I cannot really, unless you have organization. Otherwise, uh, they they will disappear. You know. And uh, Russia is very different. You have uh, independent media or more independent, you still can Now in exile. <laughs> yeah. And you can still criticize. And people still walk on the street. That very impressed me. Impressed me so much. China, we, we organized one demonstration, only seven people walked on the board. <laughs> seven. <laughs> you know, we also had the moment when seven people went to the Red Square. That was 1968. They protested against Russian invasion to Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. And but uh, what what we have in common that uh, Russians are all right now, mm -hmm. like this year, these years, Russians are also protesting with blank sheets of paper. Uh, the, yeah, the, yeah. The, that happened la la last year in China. We are ins uh, and, inspired and by they, Russians. And they and, get, uh, I arrested. see the Russian Russian citizen standing uh, Klim, uh, in front of this, holding a white paper. The police says r arrest him mm -hmm. to see. I know what you're writing on top. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we think that was a very funny. Yes. Yeah, that's some some kind of uh, art of protest. <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, I I don't have a question why why you were arrested. Uh, I think, uh, by the way, di did you realize when, w when you started that project that, that uh, you might be arrested? That, was that clear for you? I, I have no illusion about the Communist Party. My father's generation, over half a million people being crushed. Mm -hmm. My life, you know, many of them finished, the life finished. So I have no illusion. But I want to push to say, before they arrest me, maybe I have something can make clear, open discussion or so they they cannot just arrest me by not you know mm -hmm. because they talk about they should be lawful society. So I know it can be arrested, but I don't think they can arrest me in such a style, secret, secretly, like uh, kidnapping me, mm -hmm. put me in somewhere nobody know, no lawyer, my mom doesn't know, and they said they can do that uh, for as long as they want to. The question, the most that is very frustrating. Yeah, the most intriguing question for me 
Not why they arrested you that way, but why they released you. Do you understand why? I don't understand why they arrest me that way. I don't understand why suddenly they released me. I think you cannot even predict. You know, we know so many people in different levels in the society. Nobody can give me an answer. It's so Chinese is always mysterious.、Mm -hmm. Now, you know, my family is pretty privileged in China, with my father's.、Uh, You know,、uh, inference,、mm -hmm. but nobody know, and nobody even dare to ask why this guy got uh, uh, released.、Mm -hmm. But what the official told me, not、uh, not directly, but trying to emphasize to me to say, I got too many foreign support.、Mm -hmm. That's why they say I don't know. Should I believe them? They 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 keep telling me, you know, yeah, there's a lot of、uh, foreign support. They don't care about foreign support, but they have to do business with British, French, or Germany,、mm -hmm. and they all ask the same question. Yeah, that's true. To see why you have to put this guy、uh, <coughs> behind the bar, you know, is he criminal? I'm not a criminal. Mm -hmm. So probably that's one of the two reasons. What another reason? Probably with my father's、uh, influence. You know, he、mm -hmm. people doesn't want to just crash me. You know, so why do you think、uh, the Chinese authorities、uh, demolished your studio? What was the, si <laughs> the symbolism of? I, I only can say that's a ridiculous act. You know why they have to do this kind of little thing, right? I mean, they arrest me in that style, and then they released me, and、uh, it's very hard to figure out. They, I don't think they are very rational、mm -hmm. in that way. So you mean it's it's not a strategy but a bureaucratic? Yeah,、uh, could be different levels. People made、uh, you know these kind of decisions, but it, it's very hard to judge what what really happening. And this is your I built in a new, studio. New studio. I built a studio exactly the same、uh, shape as what they destroyed. Uh -huh. Because、uh, you know, in China, nobody have a piece of land, not even one inch.、Uh -huh. you know, everything belong to communist, and、uh, so they destroy something. You cannot even make an argument. Now I rebuild one with different、uh, structure, wooden structure,、uh -huh. which are, you know, which represents some kind of wisdom of the classic architecture. The whole building has no nails.、Mm -hmm. It's all puzzled together. So for me, it's a game to to have something down. But I I, I I don't need a studio, not at all. It's just for me to set up something, create a problem, so I can feel more belong to this land. You know,、mm -hmm. work with construction site, with work with.、Uh, Uh, engineer. Otherwise, I'm, you know, as as refugees, you、mm -hmm. know, we we are we are just like a go with the wind, you know. But still,、so、but still, you're building it. Still, but I'm building still, it. Still make it make me myself to feel solid problems、mm -hmm. I have to solve.、Mm -hmm. You know, every that you have some some base and you have something. Uh, that, yeah, that, yeah. That cannot be taken away from you. No, nature will take away. I my life is not going to be、mm -hmm. too long, so it's just some something will be there when I'm not there anymore. So I think that's interesting. So how how will it look like? Huh? How will it look look like? How would it look like when it's done? The interesting thing is, I don't really know. <laughs> so it's, a, it's the process. Yeah, process. 
Once look like it's just another stupid building, you know. We have so many buildings in the uh-huh. world. Why you create another building? But the process belong to our life. Uh-huh. You know? We have to make the steps come to the end. Right? Then we die. Mm-hmm. It's a goodbye. But uh, we have to come the process. So you you lose the interest uh, to this place when it's ready, or not? I don't really care that much. <laughs> I have to, yeah. I don't think there's too many more problems in the world. I don't think we can solve it. Hopefully, we don't create another problem. So. You mentioned the 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 West and the European countries、uh, who have trade with with China, and you. Many, many times criticize that the cynical approach that、uh, the West doesn't、uh, want to to criticize a lot because like or even if the West criticizes they cannot live without China they still want to have that trade they still need、uh, cooperation with China so yeah, basically China can do anything it wants. I think that is a problem with China. It's it's an authoritarian society. And it's very, very how do you say? People are very unified, 1.4 billion people. And、uh, and they are moving fast, from a poor poorest nation to one of the biggest world power. And、uh, still, they are they believe the world is at the moment. Have a big change, and China will probably take the 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 most、uh, profitable advantage at this moment. I think they are very ambitious. They have vision, and they have a clear plan. Under the West, they are very much depends on their value and system, the democracy. But、uh, those. Values or works better in there internally,、mm-hmm. but when they're dealing with other nations, they very often use double standard because they need China. Nobody in the world can provide same kind of labor market or or consuming market as China.、It's、historically, never. So, I think economy would make West make. To alter their decisions because this is capitalism, you know, a president of a nation or a president of a big company, they are always being judged or measured by how well they are doing. Economy, you know, it's not about the ideology; it's only about, uh, uh, you know. So if that be measured,、mm-hmm. they are they have to kneel kneel down to China. China understand it. That's why China is pretty arrogant in that way. They are playing very different game. You playing chess with China, who is playing another game? Do you believe that the China can、uh, invade Taiwan one day?、Um, China, I would not use the words invade China,、uh, Taiwan,、uh, because China. As they will never change, never change their mind. Taiwan is part of their uh, internal, uh, how do you call, internal issue.、Mm-hmm. So they will get China by any means necessary. But、uh, I don't think they would、uh, use military to do that.、Mm-hmm. It's not for their、uh, benefit now. But、uh, that will be always an issue. Mm-hmm. If they have to, they will do.、Mm-hmm. But I don't think they have to.、Mm-hmm. Taiwan is,、uh, you know, many Taiwanese still support one nation、uh, policy.、Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, many of them、uh, against it, but still, the nationalist party in Taiwan are very identified with Communist Party in mainland, support one nation system.、Mm-hmm. And of course, the system would benefit them economically. 
So, uh, is there any impact after the the Russian invasion to Ukraine? Did, did it change the way how uh, how China can uh, behave? Um. I don't think uh, uh, Russian's invasion to Ukraine would uh, change China's behavior. Um, but China, of course, through that kind of uh, action, and uh, only make Chinese believe uh, they can they can take over Taiwan and what they were facing the the kind of respond from the West mm -hmm. and uh, but I would never change their idea to to really uh, uh, keep their policy mm -hmm. when you came to the West when, when you left uh, China and moved to Berlin what didn't you like the most what were, what were the most um, uh, irritations for you uh, in the West in the West, in Germany, because you, uh, you, you seem to be very, very not uh, not only very Germany, not only Germany. Yeah. Uh, first, uh, I was very grateful. German government still pushed my release, mm -hmm. and uh, to every every talk they have with China, they always mention my name. So German is very stubborn on that, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I really think uh, probably that's the only nation mm -hmm. in the Western world keep doing that. Not French, not England, mm -hmm. but German. Was it Angela Merkel? Uh, yes, mm -hmm. and uh, it's uh, it's truly impressive. You know, I'm just an artist, but a German, and every delegation, political or economic delegation, before they open their mouths, Chinese government would ask, are you going to talk about Ai Weiwei again? <laughs> why? You know, they have to explain why. He said, we are a democratic world and we cannot uh, un answer those questions to our voters or people. Mm -hmm. So, Germans are very special. And of course, German gave me a fellowship who asked me to teach in the art school, and I have a studio, being uh, making, uh, you know, uh, in in the construction in Berlin. I have a very good uh, uh, reason to be to go to Berlin. Mm -hmm. And Berlin is a city I like a lot because I think that is a, a city between New York and Beijing. It's mm -hmm. like a middle ground. And they're very liberal, very you know, very impressive. But after I go to Berlin, I feel I do feel I'm not very well involved in discussion, political situations. I'm being seen as an artist against the communist, mm -hmm. which I don't like that position. You know, I'm not against the communist. I'm against authoritarian. Mm -hmm. I'm defending human rights and freedom of expression, and uh, of course, German also have a lot of problems with that. So I I realize their way of thinking is very square. You know, they put in in one box. They think, mm -hmm. yeah, of course, everybody love you because you're doing that. You're a hero, but I don't want to be a hero. I want to be a very active citizen. You know, it doesn't have to be something like that. So, and the big problems, I don't speak German. So I think I should, uh, you know, I had many arguments with them, then I moved. You once said that uh, there, there is still uh, Nazi. Nazi, Nazi, I Nazi in, in German. I'm talking about Nazi as a culture, rather than as a someone criminal. So, but the German, they, they are very sensitive about the words of a Nazi, which they shouldn't. Mm -hmm. You know, they you know it's just their grandfather parents. So why they should be so? They shouldn't be proud, but they should not be just an avoid to talk about it. You know, Nazi is not someone born as a criminal. It's a history and it's a culture development. Mm -hmm. 
to that moment, Nazi has a broader pop, uh, popular support of the people. It represent so I don't I don't un understanding why they are so sensitive about that. But their way of thinking, of you know, to be absolutely right. Mm -hmm. Not just Germans in the Western world. Now you have a tendency of this kind of super uh, liberalism, mm -hmm. which just want to say they're they're just absolutely right morally. I think that ideology is Nazi ideology, mm -hmm. because in China, during Cultural Revolution, the so-called uh, the the leftist in China. They are extremely, extremely harsh uh, in terms of being right, mm -hmm. and they beating people, they kill people, they, you know, they defending Chairman Mao's ideology. They are just like Nazis. They are Chinese Nazi. Mm -hmm. So, I really doubt anybody in any society to think they hold the absolute right moral decisions. And uh, they they judge everything by this kind of superior, arrogant mm -hmm. way. I can only associate to that as a Nazi idea. I see. So uh, the the Western liberal path is the only right way. And I th I think that is uh, very dangerous when society try to clean out everybody, and uh, to say, I think a, a right society have its own balance. You have to have different opinions. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have to give the space for people you don't like. And they have rights to talk about. That's freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. Freedom of speech only means meaningful to the people who do not have the privilege to speak. If you have a privilege to speak, that's not freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. You're dominating. And only for the voice, which not necessarily pleasant, not necessarily correct, you have to protect the rights for them to talk. Let's uh, talk a bit about your other interesting project. Uh, what has happened to your uh, documentary, Coronation? Huh. <coughs> I made a that remotely, because I know that will be national secret forever. Nobody knows what really happened when the first city Wuhan being blocked. Mm -hmm. So I have uh, people working there and uh, very successfully. And uh, in the middle of the 2020, when mm -hmm. Europe, just right in the middle, of, we already had the film done. Mm -hmm. So I tried to submit to my film to the festivals. As they all think that's unbelievable. You have a movie about pandemic mm -hmm. and already, you know, in China, it's no, nothing can be seen. Mm -hmm. Then the last word is we cannot show it. Mm -hmm. You know, those festivals. That's why, that's why I think they are hi so hypocritic. They have a, normally have 150 to 400 films. Mm -hmm. They cannot show one film about pandemic. They're all in a pandemic, everybody in panic. Mm -hmm. Berlin Film Festival or other film festivals. They love it, but they cannot show it because... Because of China, China, Chinese pressure. Chinese is, no, Chinese doesn't have pressure. Chinese has the market. Mm -hmm. Most buyers are come from China. The, I, I, you know. <laughs> <laughs> she loves you. <laughs> She loves you somehow. So funny. Yeah. So yeah, they they said we cannot show it. So, which is okay. I made it for myself anyway. So, was it uh, dangerous for for people working for you in in Wuhan to to no in China, or is it not that? That no, bad. not bad, not bad. Mm -hmm. China is not uh, like uh, China. So far, they don't they don't do that kind of thing, you know. Mm -hmm. I still have people working in China for me, but 
They're okay. Of course, telephone being listened, mm -hmm. they will be questioned, how do you know I will weigh, what he's doing and stuff. The general information, you know. Mm -hmm. but, but not uh, taking them as like, no, hostages. No, 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 no never. The, what they want is me, and uh, you know, they let me out already, so there's always big decisions, so. Why did they let you out? Because uh, they understood that, that I you, think you, they you think cannot I, influence China from the I outside? I think so, one, you know, because they, they don't hate me to be in China. Mm -hmm. And also, they think I'm a very fine person. They, they have been talking with me for f five years. Weekly, we have to sit down to talk. Mm -hmm. And they realize somehow I'm not a criminal. That's what they told me. They said that you, you're not a criminal. You know, people have their own judgment. They're, I never say they're on my enemy. They're just on their post as uh, doing some kind of job. Mm -hmm. They also have to make judgment, right? Mm -hmm. They said that they rather dealing with uh, some, you know, killers or rapists because that's easy. But mm -hmm. to dealing with political prisoner like me, they got tired. They said they know. We don't believe in that. You know, people. That's still that's that's still a good news. That yeah, that yeah, yeah. People are people. I always think we all individuals. If we have a reason and we we should can openly discuss those matters. That's why they they hate to openly discuss the matters like me, because I'm pretty convincing. You know. So they said maybe you just better be out. Mm-hmm. I think, huh? Did you see uh, some anti-Chinese uh, prejudice in the West? No, I don't. Uh, no? I don't. I, I often think the West are pre pretty. I would not say tolerant, but mm -hmm. rather, I don't see much uh, preju uh, prejudice mm -hmm. or or discrimination towards. Uh, Chinese, but of course there's an incident here. One individual, they don't like Chinese, they, they may pull a gun and shoot a few Chinese. That's not a general condition. Most Chinese uh, uh, immigrants outside, they're, they're working hard, but they're doing okay. At the same time, you know, uh, last couple of times I, w I was in, uh, in America, I was um, surprised that a lot of politicians, and not only politicians, ordinary people, uh, feel themselves um, and express it openly that yes, obviously there is some kind of new Cold War between us, meaning between America and China. So and uh, so, some people like like former President Trump, uh, who was always calling uh, COVID uh, a Chinese uh, COVID a Chinese disease, and uh, the the last um, scandal with with the balloon. That's, that sparked a lot of um, uh, paranoia in, in America. Um, yes, there's always, you know, it's a society. You have, uh, you, have a, I, you have bees and you have flies, you have mosquitoes. Of course, you cannot kill any of them. You just, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's the environment. So, but I don't think that can be exaggerated. You know, there's always Patrons, mm -hmm. but we are living in capitalism world. Big companies, they're not just moving out of China because this kind of thing. They're moving out only because they cannot make big money then. And those are really uh, a political map of the world. And all those politicians, they're just representative of those big powers, superpowers in economic world, you know. I don't think there's any, almost no politicians in the Western world who have a clear ideology, but a rather representative of those uh, big powers. Because after four years or eight years, they left, then another person will be there. So I don't think it will be a Cold War. But when um, Amer uh, American authorities are discussing the the blocking of TikTok. 
Mm -hmm. uh, uh, for example, do you feel that that's I, I, I think that is that's uh, unfair? I think it's uh, first. I think to block off or to to do all any kind of this how do you call sanction or something is going to work at all. Never in the history, never now, and never in the future. It's only when politicians have no other way and uh, to do something more smart, and that only shows how shallow they are trying to do something like this. Very ridiculous. I mean, how do you block it? You know, as in the capitalism world, the competition is really based on who is more popular, how many people is going to use it. That only means but how much money can, they are making. They can, they can do it. I don't think so. I think yeah. they only can block it by to tell government officials not to use it. Mm -hmm. But who cares government officials use it or not? And also, they, even they block it, it doesn't do anything for them, for their good. You know, the reason is stupid to say, oh, Chinese government may get your privacy. Nobody gets people's more privacy than the United States. You know, they even listen to Mocker's telephone call. You know, come on, this is mm -hmm. ridiculous, you know, mm -hmm. to say a balloon is a, is a spy or something, you know. This is just uh, tells how, how shallow those politicians is about. The real thing is they should have a fair treating. The, the Chinese internet can happen, uh, can pra uh, practice in the United States, and uh, China have to allow Twitter or other Western medias also to, to practice in, in China. Mm -hmm. And why they don't ask that? That's more important for Chinese citizen to have a, you know, free internet. Mm -hmm. Why they don't do that? I don't understand. They just trying to block uh, the Chinese, uh, uh, you know, uh, internet. Uh, I think that's ridiculous. Yeah, we've got the same questions about about the Western policy towards towards Russia. Free competition, come on, if you're really yes, powerful. Yes, Russian, Russian people, including... Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you trust yourself, you have confidence, let it happen, you know, free competition. Maybe you're, you're afraid, you're afraid of uh, free competition will crash you. So you only want to protect the old territory, you know, which I'm afraid is not going to be the same anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, China and the Russians, they realize they have to rewrite the, the game. They will change the, the rule, game rule. And so far, I haven't seen the West have a good response to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's very strange, you know. They are very divided. French uh, president just went back, you know, to, to, to China and they got a huge deal and they're very happy. Mm -hmm. The next one will be another one, German or another one. You know, they, they're very... The West is not as solid, they are also divided. They, of course, they, they always pretend they are protect the same value, democracy and freedom, but it's not true. But they only pretend? They are hypocrites. Uh -huh. Sometimes they do, I would say, in most time. Mm -hmm. But uh, come to very crucial, tough questions, they will never answer. You know, your obsession, mm -hmm. you live in Germany, but another opposition, they live in the uh, British jail, Julian Assange. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with him? He just provide a, a platform. You know, he's n never did anything wrong, but they will put him behind bars for 175 years. What's wrong with uh, Snowden? A US young man reveal a question, you know, those information could hurt the general citizens in the United States and now ridiculously live in Russia. You know? <laughs> Poor man. Uh, it's very hard to, mm -hmm. to talk about those politics, mm -hmm. right? You know, it, because nobody is clean. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you think about Western culture? Mm -hmm. We, we have no il illusions about the Western uh, political systems, Western poli politicians. Uh, and what about the culture? Is it 
in in decay or is it flourishing? I I would say the globalization made the culture flourishing because uh, so-called Western culture is uh, more tolerant, accept different uh, approach, mm -hmm. and uh, we never had uh, so much uh, free flow of information. That certainly changes our perspective, and the technology very you know promising, but still we have a strong hidden crisis. Internet or AI or uh, crypto money mm -hmm. and uh, all those have a lot of uh, uh, questions. So, but it's it's uh, it's more natural because not so much government involvement. You know, one government put hands on on cultural art. That's the end of a cultural art. Mm -hmm. So the West is pretty liberal in freedom of speech, only at a certain level. It's not a absolute. No, nowhere is absolute. You know, I, w I used to be very um, optimistic about the possible role of, of social media and new te technologies in, uh, in, in that sense that it changes the psychology of the new generation. That new generations are more open, more transparent, they, they see no borders, for them the whole world is, uh, is one place. Uh, and I know that, that you were also very in, uh, yeah. in, in love with, with social media and then, th then you changed your mind. Then, then, I, then I you, you started so. seeing a lot of disadvantages. I, 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 at the beginning, especially in China, I think the social media is some, some gift by God to, to really um, enforce and the body an uh, individual to, to become so powerful. You can freely structure your knowledge, information, and uh, to give your expressions. But uh, now you see, because everybody has the same level of uh, freedom, and then nobody listen to anybody, then that create a very different kind of map. <laughs> uh, that means uh, nothing's important, nothing we really care about, uh, because uh, it just we cannot even focus on anything. I don't know that is good or bad. It just. Uh, seems a new generation uh, so much depends on get a free information quickly and get the answer quickly. Now with AI you don't even need to get make any effort. You can organize anything, you know, can easily get these kind of mediocre answers. And uh, I think that is uh, degenerate. Mm -hmm because people do not really have a real emotion and effort. There's no difficulty anymore. But at the same time, uh, I, sh I share some, some of your uh, arg arguments, uh, but at the same time, I remember that actually people were talking like that all the time. All the human history, the elder generation criticized the younger generation saying that they are stupid, they are degenerate, they are much less uh, serious than, than we are. Uh, everyth they have so, so much, they have better technology. Like in 60s, um, uh, elder generation uh, said like, look, they are, they are watching TV. Then in, uh, in 80s, look, they are watching video games, don't, uh, not doing anything. So is it maybe there is the way how the generations are use all those te technologies uh, mm -hmm. in a better way? Um, I'm not saying they are stupid or I would say they're different. Mm -hmm. The world, the humanity changes and, uh, and our judgment value changes. They are not stupid, they are natural. It's like uh, weather, you have a spring, you have summer, you have mm -hmm. winter. No, the season is uh, it comes by the 
the, the whole natural environment. Mm -hmm. And then nothing can replace another. It's just uh, we don't know what will be in the future, you know. Mm -hmm. But we still always have to talk about the humanity, as because we are human. Of course, you said, well, maybe we are not human. We are more being replaced as in artificial intelligent. Then we we don't have humanity. We have artificial or something, you know. So, if we talk about humanity, we still can feel uh, one may help feel happy, satisfying, or one will make, what will make us cry, you know, compassion, or, you know, all those, those things are still there. Mm -hmm. But it's very hard to say if you have a whole generation who who live on internet, really live on internet, mm -hmm. do not make any effort in life. Mm -hmm. Nobody growing anything, nobody weaving or making anything. Everything can be ordered, but someone has to make it. So of course we have capitalism, you know, somebody maybe in Vietnam or India or China will make it. Then you have a clear, unbalanced world. You know, someone will be new master and someone will be new slaves. So you don't, you never would have a, a, a so-called harmonious society. The war and the, you know all those things will continue to happen. Mm -hmm. And the refugees now you have a hundred million refugees. Maybe in next few years will be much more different war, different uh, famine, different uh, environmental crisis will create a lot of uh, people who become homeless I mean, because of a lot of poor places. So the, the, the picture is not getting much better. We are, I think, both of us are refugees ourselves, <laughs> in a way. Do you think that you'll ever go back to China? If they don't put me in jail, I'll go back tomorrow. Because I have a lot of things to say, and I have a lot of things to do. I think I can help a lot. But if they put me secretly in jail, what am I going to do there? I spend my lifetime in jail there. I've, I, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty selfish person. I think I'll, I would enjoy sunshine in Portugal better. Mm -hmm. And what do you think about uh, uh, Chairman Xi's uh, idea to stay in power? Uh, I think uh, for me, forever? I think uh, I think I think it's important. You cannot use Western judgment, you know, democracy, change power, or stuff like that. I think for him, it's very important to maintain his policy. Mm -hmm. Even the policy can be stupid, mm -hmm. but if he's not doing that. Whatever he did will be completely vanished, and the people, you know, he already, how to say, had a strong policy, anti-corruption. About uh, over 50 million high officials been taken down by him. Mm -hmm. So of course he's scared. You know, he has to maintain his pose. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it can be a big disaster. And so he, he can he cannot leave. Uh, otherwise, he's going to be. I, I think um, I don't know about leave, but it will like be Putin, a... like Putin. Putin obviously cannot leave because yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, he's going yeah. to be. Uh, they are already in the position. The next minute. In Chinese, we said, uh, "You you're the one to ride a tiger, but uh, very hard to get off the tiger." You you have to keep on the top back of the tiger. Uh -huh. You get off, you'll be eaten by the tiger, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's all tough man can end up pretty tragically, you know. Mm -hmm. Before the the beginning of our interview, we we discussed uh, Alexei Navalny. So you 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 are not considering your, yourself to be a person who like like him, who I, I, returned I no, admire, knowing. I that. admire him, 
you know, a person with、uh, ideology and、uh, willing to sacrifice no matter what for that ideology. I am not that kind of person. I'm fight for aesthetics. You know, normally people call it fight for the beauty. I I think I'm fight for the more different. You know, I'm not politician.、Mm -hmm. I will be very bad politician. And、uh, you know, I may I may become a dictator if I'm politician.、Mm. I don't really trust democracy. But how that China would can look like, where you you will know that you can safely come back? Is it after <laughs> after Chairman Xi is gone, or well, or what I, what should happen to China? I don't really know. Describe it. I I private.、Uh, it doesn't matter. I I. I only would measure it by see many of my friends end up in jail. Many of them still in jail, serving、uh -huh. time. So I would think, oh, that could be me, you know, because my crime、uh, maybe ten times, hundred times bigger than what they did.、Mm -hmm. I have more wild ideas, and I know how to make it. You know, I know how to achieve my goals. And、uh, those people just maybe criticize a few cent. You know, it's not big crime, but I I can do something more dangerous than that. So that's why I think、uh, you know I deserve what they they have been doing to me. And、uh, <laughs> I don't think I think I'm lucky. I'm not there. So. But、uh, you 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 cannot you cannot imagine. Any significant changes, Ch changes that 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 could、uh, obviously allow you to come back. So you you read in the news that okay, uh, uh, Chairman、uh, she resigned,、uh, all of your friends were released out of jail, and and you're gonna say okay, I can go. Oh yeah, yeah you need a, you know, life just for once for any individual, and we don't know exactly what that what that mean, but we don't want to interfere. Or stop the life by doing something stupid as a mistake. Maybe something meaningful we never really know yet. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> that's that's a very good perspective. Yes.